question. Children, in the last episode, you have learned to convert the direct speech into indirect speech with the reporting verb in present and future tense and the reported speech in the assertive and interrogative form. You must be thinking of the sentences with the reported verb in the past tense and many other types of sentences. Don't worry, I am here to help you. Look at this sentence. You said, I played very well. Here you can see that the reporting verb you said is in the past tense. Therefore, we will have to change the tense of the reported speech. I play very well. Ethe tusi vekhya ke reporting verb you said past tense which hai. Is karke asi reported speech. I play very well. They tense nu badlange. In the indirect speech, we will write like this. You said that you played very well. Similarly, look at this sentence. She said, I will be sleeping. She said that she would be sleeping. Children, you must be anxious to know the rules for the change of tense of the reported speech when the reporting verb is in the past. Here are the rules. Rules If the reported speech is in the past tense, the tense of the reported speech will change in the following ways. J reporting speech past tense which hai ta ithe reported speech the tense es tarah badlega. The present indefinite tense changes into the past indefinite tense. If the reporting verb is in the past tense and the reporting speech is in the present indefinite tense, the tense of the reporting speech will change into past indefinite tense. J reporting verb past tense which hai ate reporting speech present indefinite tense which hai ta reported speech the tense past indefinite tense which badal jarega. Here are some examples for your help. Raju said, Geeta dances very well. Direct. Raju said that Geeta danced very well. Indirect. You said, I play very well. Direct. You said that you played very well. Indirect. Children, you must be anxious to know why the tense changes from present to past. It is obvious. In the direct form, the reported speech shows those words which are said by the speaker. But when the narrator narrates those words after some time in his own words, there is a gap of time. If the speech is narrated in the same tense, it may create confusion. Therefore, to justify the time gap, we change the tense of the reported speech into past while changing into indirect form. 
ਬੱਚਿਓ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਇਹ ਜਾਣਨ ਲਈ ਉਤਾਵਲੇ ਹੋਵੋਗੇ ਕਿ ਰਿਪੋਰਟਡ ਸਪੀਚ ਦਾ ਟੈਂਸ ਕਿਉਂ ਬਦਲਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿਸੇ ਦੇ ਇਨ ਬਿਨਾ ਕਹੇ ਸ਼ਬਦਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਤੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਸ਼ਬਦਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਕਿਸੇ ਹੋਰ ਦੁਆਰਾ ਦਰਸਾਏ ਜਾਣ ਵਿੱਚ ਹਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਸਮੇਂ ਦਾ ਵਕਫਾ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਲਈ ਜਦੋਂ ਵੀ ਕੋਈ ਦੂਜਾ ਆਦਮੀ ਕਿਸੇ ਹੋਰ ਦੇ ਸ਼ਬਦਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਆਪਣੇ ਸ਼ਬਦਾਂ ਰਾਹੀਂ ਦਰਸਾਉਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਤਾਂ ਉਹ ਗੱਲ ਉਸ ਲਈ ਬੀਤੇ ਸਮੇਂ ਦੀ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਲਈ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਸ਼ਬਦਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਪਾਸਟ ਟੈਂਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਿਹਾ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ the present continuous tense changes into the past continuous tense if the reporting verb is in the past tense and the reported speech is in the present continuous tense the tense of the reported speech will change into past continuous tense j reporting verb past tense which hai ate reported speech present continuous tense which hai ta reported speech da tense past continuous tense which badal javega here are some examples for your help Rani said Prince is not studying seriously direct Rani said that Prince was not studying seriously indirect She said to me what is your name direct She asked me what my name was in direct The present perfect tense changes into the past perfect tense If the reporting verb is in the past tense and the reported speech is in the present perfect tense the tense of the reported speech will change into past perfect tense J reporting verb past tense which hai at the reported speech present perfect tense which hai ta reported speech da tense past perfect tense which badal javega Here are some examples for your help. I said to you he has done his work. Direct. I told you that he had done his work. Indirect. She said to him where have you lived direct She asked him where he had lived indirect The present perfect continuous tense changes into the past perfect continuous tense if the reporting verb is in the past tense and the reported speech is in the present perfect continuous tense the tense of the reported speech will change into past perfect continuous tense j reporting verb past tense which hai at the reported speech
present perfect continuous tense which hai ta reported speech the tense past perfect continuous tense which badal javega here are some examples for your help she said to me i have been working since morning direct she told me that she had been working since morning indirect he said to me it has been raining since morning direct he told me that it had been raining since morning indirect the past indefinite tense changes into the past perfect tense if the reporting verb is in the past tense and the reported speech is in the past perfect tense the tense of the reported speech will change into past perfect tense j reporting verb past tense which hai at reported speech past perfect tense which hai ta reported speech the tense past perfect tense which badal javega Here are some examples for your help. I said to Anshu, "Did you check the price list when you paid the shopkeeper?" Direct. I asked Anshu if he had checked the price list. when he paid the shopkeeper indirect he said to me i ate two apples only direct he told me that he had eaten two apples only indirect the past continuous tense changes into the past perfect continuous tense if the reporting verb is in the past tense and the reported speech is in the past continuous tense the tense of the reported speech will change into past perfect continuous tense j reporting verb past tense which hai at a reported speech past continuous tense which hai ta reported speech the tense past perfect continuous tense which badal javega here are some examples for your help he said to you i was writing a letter direct he told you that he had been writing a letter indirect she said to me when i came to you you were doing your work direct she told me that when she came to me i had been doing my work indirect the past perfect and the past perfect continuous tense doesn't change always remember that if the reporting verb is in the past tense and the reported speech is in the past perfect tense or past perfect continuous tense the tense of the reported speech will never change here are some examples for your help i said to him you had done your work direct i told him that he had done his work indirect he said to me 
when you knocked the door, I had been attending a phone call, direct. He told me that when I had knocked the door, he had been attending a phone call, indirect. In all the future tenses, shall and will changes into would. You said, I shall play very well. To see keha ki me bohut changi tara khe danga. You said that you would play very well. To see keha ki to see bohut changi tara khe doge. She said, I will be sleeping. She said that she would be sleeping. Note. If the reported speech is a universal truth, its tense doesn't change, even if the reported speech is in the past. Jekar reported speech kise vishwa vyapi sachai nu pragat kar di hove, ta reported speech da tense nahi badalda. Pawe reported speech past tense vich hi hove. He said, the earth moves. He said that the earth moves. Kari said Allah is kind and merciful. Kari said that Allah is kind and merciful. When there are two sentences combined, with the help of a conjunction and both the sentences have got different tenses, then if we change such kind of sentences from direct into indirect, we change the tenses of both sentences according to the rule. Jadu do vak conjunction di sahayta naal ek duje di naal jude hon ate doha hi vaka de tenses वखरे वखरे होन ता जदो असी अजेहे वाकानो डारेक्ट तो इन डारेक्ट विच बदलांगे ता नियम दे मुताबक ही दोहा वाका दे टेंस बदलांगे He said they will have finished their work before we reach there He said that they would have finished their work before they reach there Children, I have told you earlier that there is always a gap of time between the direct speech and the indirect. Therefore, not only the tense is to be changed into past, but even the adverbs of time and some determiners showing nearness are also needed to be changed. These are here, hither, this these, now, tomorrow, today, tonight, etc. Bachiyo, jive mein tuhanu pehla hi dasya hai ki kise de in bin kahe shabda vich ate una shabda nu kise hor dwara darsai jaan vich hamesha samay da vakfa hunda hai. Es lai jado vi koi dujja admi kise hor de shabda nu apne shabda rahi darsa hunda hai ta o gal उस लई बीते समय दी हो जांदी है इस लई उना शब्दानु ना केवल पास टेंस विच किया जांदा है सगो ओ शबद जो समय दी नेड़ता दस दे हन उना दी था दूरी वाले शबद वरते जांदे हन कि पास टेंस नाल नया कर सकर Let's take up the rules of changing the words showing nearness Rules of changing the words showing nearness if we change direct speech into indirect speech, words showing nearness are changed into words showing distance. Jadu asi direct speech nu indirect speech with badlange, ta nedta vikhaunde shabd, duri vikhaunde shabda vich badal jange. The following words are changed in the following ways. Direct speech. Indirect speech. 
this changes into that these changes into those now changes into then or right away tomorrow changes into the next day or the following day or the coming day the day after tomorrow changes into in two days time yesterday changes into the previous day or the last day or the day before the day before yesterday changes into two days before today changes into that day tonight changes into that night last night changes into the previous night or the last night or the night before here changes into there hither changes into thither children till now we have learned the rules of changing different forms of assertive and interrogative sentences into indirect form for assertive we use told and for the interrogative we add asked to the reporting verb in place of said to now see what we do in case of imperative sentences look at this animation give this file to mr sodi the principal said to me give this file to mr sodi the principal ordered me to give this file to you what did you notice in these sentences the reporting speech is an imperative sentence you must know that an imperative sentence is that sentence which begins with a verb it may denote an order request command advice pardon etc therefore while changing into indirect form the said to of the reporting verb is changed accordingly ena vaka vich tusi ki vekhya the reporting speech imperative sentences which hai imperative sentences o vak hunda hai jo verb nal shuru hunda hai ae hukum beinti aadesh sala maafi aadi nu darshaunda hai is layi indirect form vich badlan samay reporting verb bhi use anusar badaldi hai imperative sentences while changing a reported speech with imperative sentence from direct into indirect speech change reporting verb into request requested beg begged order ordered command commanded and advise advised according to the sense of the reported speech change the verb of the reported speech into to plus v1 or the first form of the verb imperative sentences nu indirect speech which badlan samay reporting verb nu reported speech the sense de mutabik request requested beg begged order ordered command commanded advise advised which badlo reported speech de verb nu to plus v1 or first form of verb or not to plus v1 or first form of verb which badlo examples the principal said to me give this file to mr sodi direct the principal ordered me to give that file to mr sodi indirect the teacher said to the student don't move out of the classroom direct the teacher ordered the student not to move out of the classroom indirect let 
can be used in several ways in imperative sentences. To make a proposal. In such a case, reporting verb is changed into propose, suggest and let is changed into should. Ajay case which reporting verb propose, suggest which badal da hai. Ate let should which badal janda hai. My friend said to me, let us go for a walk. My friend suggested me that we should go for a walk. My mother said, let's sit in the sun. My mother proposed to sit in the sun. To permit or persuade. In such cases, let is changed into let or might be allowed to. Ajehi case which let or might be allowed to which badal janda hai. Example, the mother said to the father, let her go to the school trip. The mother suggested the father to allow her to go to the school trip. Or, the mother suggested the father that she might be allowed to go to the school trip. To express a condition or supposition. In such a case, let is changed into might. Ajehe case which let might which badal janda hai. Exclamatory and optative sentences. Visme janak atte icha suchak vak. The optative or exclamatory form is changed into assertive form and deals with accordingly. The reporting verb is changed into some such verb or expression as Visme janak ate icha suchak vaka da roop nishchiatmik ate vartao de hisab nal badal janda hai. Reporting verb kuj verbs which is tara de phrases nal badal janda hai jive wish, bless, pray, exclaim, declare, confess, disapprove, say in astonishment, etc. with such phrases as wish, bless, pray, exclaim, declare, confess, disapprove, say in astonishment adi. The reporting verb is changed into exclaim, wish, pray, bless, cry or any other suitable verb. The words showing exclamation such as hooray, alas, oh, etc. are omitted. But the feeling behind is conveyed by using such as exclaimed with joy, exclaimed with sorrow, etc. The exclamatory sentence is changed into a statement before it is converted into the indirect speech. The sign of exclamation is omitted. Before taking some examples, let's watch this animation. The captain said, Hurrah! We have won the match. Direct. The captain exclaimed with joy and said that they had won the match. Indirect. The captain said, Alas, we have lost the match. Direct. The captain exclaimed with sorrow and said that they had lost the match. Indirect. Children, I hope now you have learned to change the direct speech into indirect speech. That is all for today. Now keep on practicing. All the best.